Go. Action. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the comp makeup tutorial. Okay, start with primer. We use the e.l.f. one. Next step is concealer, under eyes, blemishes. We do um, bronzer next on the cheek lines just to kind of give it um, contour. I usually do a little bit up here, here. Here, you can use a stick, drops, whatever your preference is. Okay, now we're doing foundation. I squeeze a little on my hand. I use a brush. You can also use a sponge and just kind of blend all over. Next up is I like to just take a little bit of powder. You could use setting powder, um, compact powder, and just kind of set all over just to kind of set the foundation. All right, we're going to do the eyes next. Um, I'm doing the new palette, um, the alternative palette. If you didn't get the one that was out of stock, this is the one that we're using um, I'm going to start with Unveiled. Just start with one of the lighter colors for your skin tone, and I use that as, like, the base for it. All right, so you just want to give it a nice... base. Use a fluffier brush. Get it nice and smooth. All right, then I'm gonna take, this one is called Honestly. Um, this one looks good on Michaela's skin tone. You can use the ones that look the best. I put it right here in the crease and you wanna just dab it in there. So you get like a nice contour line. Go ahead. Then I'm gonna go in with Oh So Nude and put a little at the top, give it a little more definition. And I do it a little under too. And you just wanna make sure you're blending the whole time. All right, I'm going back in with the Honestly, just to blend. Um, you wanna come down a little bit and then get right in that crease. And I just kinda of go back and forth with, with um, the Oh So Nude, the Honestly, I also will go in with a little bit of Genuine and just kind of get that look here and just make sure they're all blended. Then I'm going to go with the Full Disclosure color, which is this one here. So if you have the original palette, um, I used those first two colors in the original palette to do the base and then this here at the top. And you just wanna make sure there's no harsh lines and that it's blended nicely. Up to the brow. And I'll go back and forth between these two. All right, now that I've got like the, the end of that blended, I'm gonna go in within the buff. It's a little bit darker and just kind of get it right there in that crease just to give it a little more definition. Kind of come down a little bit and then I'm gonna do the other eye.
We're gonna do eyeliner. I just use a liquid black right on the tip of the lid. Um, I like to do a little bit of brow gel to fill in. After I do the brow gel and the um, the eyeliner and the brow gel, I like to just kind of go in and touch up and just darken this just a bit. Just make sure it's blended. All right, now is where you wanna go do your blush. This is a little broken, we gotta get a new one. Um, but you'll wanna do your blush and highlighter and then add a little bronzer um, under the cheekbone, blush on the cheek, and then a little bit of highlighter here. All right, once you get your bronzer and your blush and a little bit of highlighter, just go through and blend. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's kind of cohesive and it there's no like sharp lines. So I just wanna blend down here to give a little definition to your chin, a little nose up here, and then on the cheekbones. And then when you're done, you wanna go, always go back in with the blush and you can never have too much blush. I like to finish with a setting powder. Um, it also kind of helps blend everything together. It helps set everything for kind of that longer. Um, I do all this and then I do the lashes last. So after I finish this is when I would go back in and do, um, do the lashes after I get everything else on and mascara. And after the setting powder, you can go back and, you know, fill in or darken up any like little spots in the eyes or whatever. We're gonna, um, after you do your setting spray at whatever works for you and your um, setting powder, we're gonna line the lips and then put the lip color on. For the hair, just make sure that everything around the face is slicked back and there's no flyaways. And then the pony, um, start it not, so it's not on the neck and then it's not at the crown. So I like to just start it right here and then bun it up. <laughs> 